Here's the second equation that we want to solve. We could try factoring, but unfortunately, factoring is not going to work on this. And that we have a second way of dealing with this. Or we have that same tool available if our factoring skills have gotten weak. We have the quadratic formula. This is an example of a quadratic formula. Uh, quad, a quadra excuse me. <laughs> I may have to start over. I screwed up. I have a second equation to solve here. This one will not yield solutions by way of factoring. We're going to have to use the quadratic formula. This is a quadratic equation. If you are unfamiliar with the quadratic formula because you've forgotten it, the letter A that we use in the formula will be the number 2. The, the letter B will be the number negative 6. And, an, and the letter C will have the value of 3. I'm not going to write out the quadratic formula. If you've forgotten it, that means it's time for you to review it. The solutions from this, and there will be two, will be x equals minus b. So minus a negative 6 is 6. Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. Minus times 2 times 3 will be negative 24. And all of this is divided by 2a. OK, let's start doing some of the calculations here. This is 6 plus or minus the square root of 12 divided by 4. Now, you, you have to remember some of what the steps are in simplifying radicals. If there are any square factors in here, we can take the square roots of them. 12 is 4 times 3, and the square root of 4 is 2. So I can replace this with 2 times the square root of 3. Continuing to simplify, I notice I have a common factor of 2 throughout. And so I'm going to factor it out. And finally, I can do some reducing here. This becomes a 1. This becomes a 2. And I'm going to quickly erase these and leave us with the final form of our two solutions. 2, 1. This stands for the two solutions to our problem. Note the signs. This rather abbreviated form stands for 3 plus the square root of 3 divided by 2. And a second solution. 3 minus the square root of 3 divided by 2. So here are the solutions. 